what is up everybody and surprise we got a review today and this one is of the Rotec RP 190 paver uh, most people consider this model rare since you can only realistically get it from very few places one of those places being eBay and mostly being way overpriced I came of I came by this model of a different means um, but I wanted to do a review of this because there's not really many reviews of it on YouTube and the one real review of it um, where it's a very in-depth is actually a very negative review of it um, and I guess you guys know who it's by and you know he always likes to rain on Norscott models I will say um, this model does have a couple downfalls but keep in mind though it is um, you know Norscott doesn't produce the best pieces out there but for you know what you get it's pretty nice and considering that this thing is actually pretty accurate to the real machine that I've actually seen and actually ran myself it's very nice I will say it's got a lot of great detailing so you know anyways um, we're gonna stop up here at the hopper and sorry I just hit something and I'll, something I'll show you guys here you can see the hopper it's actually quite a bit bigger than the North Scott uh, AP 600 now I'll do a comparison but I think it looks better because the hopper isn't hanging over the sides like the AP 600 does um, in here you actually have the conveyor and the thing is though it's actually see how it's textured here um, it's just a steel plate underneath that but these um, spokes I guess you could call them actually move and actually carry the asphalt on back while the um, plate underneath that is just solid um, here you can see two service doors um, it does um, the hopper does um, fold up a little bit not much but here's the one big difference between this and the AP 600 and 655 it actually has cylinders here um, which is a great improvement um, there is no steering in these two front wheels, but that's fine. Um, but it does uh, show the hydraulic cylinder and all the mechanisms that go to it. Um, back here, you have a vent, and then it has EXS there. Uh, I don't exactly know what that's for. Um, and then RP190, and as for all Rotec machinery, um, real or model, of course there is only three models, you have the American flag back here is a uh, is the rear wheel but one thing I, that I must say is that the plastic on the wheel does not match the white plastic does not match the color of the white paint on the metal part um, but the rear wheel is rubber um, the screen is a Carlson um, easy IV or easy four I guess uh, screed which is actually on the real machine um, and as you can see it's all black which is really nice it it looks really good it breaks up the black um, it, just like on the uh, non canopied versions of the AP 600 and 655 you have platforms on the side and platforms on the back that do fold down and here you can see the giant C and then Carlson easy one or IV excuse me now the screen does extend out and I do have one complaint about it on this side as you can see it's a little bit difficult coming out and as you can see it kind of twerks off to an angle and that's because of the mechanism underneath and I'll show you that but once I get this damn thing fixed um, so I'll show you that mechanism pretty much I know it's probably gonna be hard to see um, you have two plastic tabs right here and it stays along a glider a metal glider this one likes to um, hop off of the glider making it a pain in the ass to extend the screen. Another thing is, it seems that this side is longer than this side, which it is. Um, but anyways, underneath you have your auger, which is really nice, and so on. Um, but it does uh, it, uh, go back in. It does, the hydraulics on it are very loose, but, and they are, as you can see, they are very easy to move. But here's the nice thing about that, with that, Normally, loose hydraulics means an easy movable hydraulics means they won't hold a pose, but this one does, which is really nice. And there you can see it's on the ground, and it looks very nice. The operator station is very nice. Um, you got two seats and the controls on the side, 
which I like way better than the uh, cat where all the controls are right up there. Um, on this control panel, if my memory serves me right, um, has all your movement controls um, and your F and R. And this side has your uh, auger control for distributing your asphalt to your screen and your uh, hopper control. And you can switch that over uh, via normally a main console that would be in the center, but this model does not have it, unfortunately. But you could switch it over to this um, operator station. Uh, so, yeah. On the back of the seats, you have Road Tech and, and very small print. You have the Aztec Company, which is the the owners and proprietors, I guess would be the word, of Road Tech. It's got some nice hydraulic lines going to uh, the cylinders here and then some electrical wiring going to the controls on the seat. You have a beacon here, um, which is very nice, and but this these handrails, as you can see, are very flimsy plastic. Back here, you got two boxes for the guys standing on the screen i you know give them guys credit because their job is very hot um as for my experience at the roundabout site and for once the screen actually extends perfectly um but it has all the nice fine detailing back here um you can see the uh slow moving vehicle uh plate and it is and it is thick and all that but it is nice nonetheless now this is not the exhaust Prior to popular, or to the contrary of popular belief, this is actually the part of the fume extraction system. This um, actually helps quite a bit. This, however, is the exhaust itself. So, and then here's your air intake and cleaner, or whatever. Um, I forgot where exactly the uh, clean out station, um, or where the... Uh, oil hose to uh, clean out all the asphalt out of the hopper and all that would went. I think it went down in here somewhere, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it was somewhere on this side. It was not, it may have been up here though. I'm not 100% sure. I forgot. It's been quite a few months. But anyways, it is a nice model. Now one thing though, the model does seem to bend or curve at the bottom and what I mean by that is sometimes this front wheel does not um, touch the ground completely so you know just a little bit of that now if you're wanting to get a nice little Rotex set going here is the um, shuttle buggy box that comes with the shuttle buggy uh, aka the sister machine to this there's how it looks with the box in, and it has a pretty nice hopper size, as you guys can see. Um, the AP655 and 600, they cannot fit it, and you actually have to put it in backwards, like this, for it to fit properly, but on this one, there is no real need for that, since the hopper is actually designed to fit the mission, to fit the hopper itself. And I'll show you what it looks like with the shuttle buggy. Um, here in just a sec, bring in the Rotec Shuttle Buggy, another model that's highly sought after. And here's what you see. Pretty nice lineup, right? Yeah, I thought so. Uh, put this back down, and I'll do a little comparison to the really other widely bought paper out there, which is the AP600 and 655. This is the one without the canopy, so the screens are different. I just don't care to do a review of this. Um, I'll take that out. And you can see the hopper. Might as well bring the screen back in. You can see there's quite a big difference here in how this one is bigger and such. And you can see what I mean by the overhang of the hopper. It just looks way better in my opinion. And the white looks really cool. Um, and I do not like how this is slanted compared to this. It just looks way better. Um, on the backs, you can see there is quite a bit more detail on the road tech. It is obviously wider. Well, let's, I've not actually tried this test, but which screen goes out further? I already know that I like the cat's mechanism better, considering it's a lot easier to um, use. But in the case of which screen goes out wider, the answer is none of them, or neither one of them. They're exactly the same. So there's that. 
And sorry if the lighting isn't the best. Um, obviously, the uh, hopper on the cat goes out further, uh, or comes in further, excuse me. But all in all, though, I will say the Road Tech is nicer. So, cat, take a back seat to this machine or model. Well, actually, the machine, too. Um, but anyways, guys, that's really just about it. Um, if you can get your hands on one of these for, I'd say, less than 100 bucks, I, I'd say go for it. Um, if you want me to do any more reviews, uh, just DM me on Instagram, at Carol's Photography, um, or uh, comment below, and I will certainly do them for you. But anyways, guys. Thanks for watching, and oh, by the way, the Model News 24-hour live stream is coming up. If you watch my show, The Kevin Show, on the Model News 101 YouTube, um, you should know about this, or the Cake Up a Joe. Um, anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and as always, peace out.